I never forget on recruitment day, uh, Johnny Cooks called me, Glenn Collins, uh, we all we decided that we were going to go to Mississippi State together. We talked to Willie Jackson, and all of us got on the phone talking to one another. Marty McDowell called, and we were saying, we're going to go, some, we're going to go up there and we're going to do something special. The telephone group hug finally paid off in the team's Sun Bowl season of 1980. State won four of its first five before getting spanked at home by USN. But we had made a commitment in that locker room uh, after that Southern game that we were going to win the rest of our games and we had to play for each other. And that's what I really, really remember, that we turned a setback into a great comeback. Proving once and for all that good can indeed come from bad, State regrouped. The Southern Mississippi loss had occurred on October 11. On October 12, the Bulldogs made a commitment. They declared a new five-game season. They decided right then and there to win all five of those games. The fact that Miami, Auburn, Alabama, LSU, and Ole Miss were those five opponents didn't matter. Miami, a nationally ranked team that would go on to win the Peach Bowl, was first on the list. Jim Kelly, you are on the clock. In the Orange Bowl. The Hurricanes went into the game with what was statistically the nation's third best defense. The Bulldog defense had another day in the sun too. Johnny Cook scored a touchdown on a pass interception. And the defense demonstrated the first of three straight goal line stands that would win three consecutive football games. Mississippi State fired the shot heard around the football world. Mississippi State 6, Alabama 3. Mississippi State not only scored more points than Alabama, the Bulldogs beat the Crimson Tide in every facet of football. No less an authority than Paul Bear Bryant called the state victory decisive and strolled to the south end of Mississippi Memorial Stadium to personally tell the Bulldogs that. Emery Ballard, the man who invented the wishbone offense, had designed a defense to shut it down. And the defense did. In a wild Mississippi State dressing room, Ballard told newsmen, we played from the ground up, start to finish, and never once let up. This is a great bunch here who decided they wanted to be something better than average. I'm proud for them. And I'm proud for everybody who loves Mississippi State. From there, with the seconds ticking away, Alabama went with its strength. Wishbone, triple option right. Quarterback Don Jacobs never had a chance. Big Tyrone Keys pounded him. Billy Jackson, who recovered the fumble, was named the National Lineman of the Week for his outstanding defensive performance against the Crimson Tide. Mississippi State had won a great football victory. Perhaps, just perhaps, its greatest ever. My name is Johnny Cooks, a graduate of Mississippi State from 77 to 1981. I've been a big Mississippi State fan since 1976 when I first came to the first football game. We have the best fans in the country. And just seeing the fans excitement because we were one of the first winning teams here at Mississippi State and you can see the excitement that was brought to all the Mississippi State family. So I think about the fans all the time because I'm one now and I enjoy being watching the kids. I owe Mississippi State everything. Mississippi State don't owe me anything because they saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. You know, they changed my whole life. They changed my whole family life. So, you know, I tell everybody, thank you to Mississippi State for accepting me because, I mean, I needed you a lot more than you needed me. That's the one thing I enjoy about Mississippi State is that they gave me something that I could never repay.